Daniel Andrews is refusing to back down on a plan to allow hospitals to share private health records despite growing concerns about privacy and security. It's facing a backlash because patients won't be allowed to opt out of the controversial scheme. 10,000 signatures uh, handed to Parliament. To ensure that patient consent and privacy is maintained in line with the Australian Charter of Healthcare Rights. Protesting a state government plan to allow health records to be shared between hospitals. We don't object to the government uh, taking steps to make the system more efficient. What we object to is the government uh, taking away consent of patients. The Liberal Democrats want patients to be able to opt out. Stalking victim Di McDonald fears for her safety. I don't know where he works. What if he is a medical person or his friends work in the medical industry? And there are hacking concerns. It needs to be securely stored. It needs to be absolutely 100% encrypted. Uh, no if, no buts. Patients, consumers should have the right to be able to choose whether or not their information will be readily disclosable to hundreds of different health organisations. But the Premier won't budge. There's no opt-out provisions in New South Wales, for instance, and a number of other states. Queensland has an opt-out system. The Commonwealth has an opt-out system. The new laws come with harsh penalties. Anyone who accesses health data without authorisation could be jailed for two years or handed a fine of more than $44,000. This is about making sure that people have the very best care possible. Nothing more, nothing less. Chanel Vella, 7 News.